what's going on guys i want to recap the day's action today um a lot of traders and evolution traders i'd say around 70 percent of us today made some good good money especially really really early in the day uh so i kind of want to recap what i was trying to emphasize in the room today so again guys i'm always looking at overnight session highs and lows i'm always kind of correlating that and matching that up against a previous day high against a week high something like that so the top line that you can see is going all the way back to Friday at 17,776 areas, going back to like Friday, Monday's highs. And then you can see yesterday's lows sitting down at 17,555. Now this red box here is the overnight session lows. So what I was looking at here is as we started to push up here in the pre-market in this overnight session, right? We started to push up here. We started to make one last ditch effort to try to get over the week's highs going back to last Friday. We, we the bulls got rejected okay bulls got rejected bulls have been doing a fantastic job it's time for the bears to make a little bit of money okay so with that being said the first setup of the day was a 20 sma play it was a 46 and a half point range guys that hit for a one-to-one -one immediately off the bell so if you are a trader who is looking for these 20 sma plays long short you should have been in this play 10 times out of 10 times there's no reason why you shouldn't your risk is very very defined it's at the top of this wick if we if we get over this wick and we start to break through friday monday's highs we got to get the hell out of the trade there is no if ands or buts about it don't be stupid about it right so with that being said if we miss this play let's say we don't like to trade that early in the morning i get it sometimes it's a little nerve-wracking because it's so volatile and the ranges are so big i get it i understand however trade setups don't discriminate they're going to come in the pre-market. They're going to come after after lunch. They're going to come off the open. They're going to come in the overnight session. A trader needs to take the trades when they get the trade setups, right? You can't sit there and try to cherry pick when you want to trade and when you don't want to trade. Now, you can have a designated time frame. Let's say I only want to trade the first two hours of the market open. Great. If you get a setup in the first two hours of the market open, you take that trade. If you don't, you close your computer and you come back tomorrow. Simple, right? Simple. The next play that was needed to be taken, right? That I ended up taking uh, as well was as soon as we started to take out the overnight session lows here, we had this little bit of a double bottom here between 340 in the morning and around 430 in the morning Pacific Standard Time. We had that double bottom. When we really started to break down below that, you can see here the first hour, right? The first 30 minutes off the bell, which is that opening range, which is the first hour of the market open from 6 to 7 a.m once we put in those lows there i mark that out so i want to know where's the first hour lows where's that opening range low at okay where's the opening range high at i, I already have it up here it's you know that that week's high so i've got the range here okay so if we confirm the opening range lows we got to be in the trade there is no if ands or buts about it now what's your stop loss use the previous previous five minute candles as a stop Okay, it's a 35 point candle. So I know there's people out there that are going to say 35 points. I don't want to, you know, who gives a 35 point stop loss? We'll look at if you want to trade the five minute time frame, that's the previous five minute candle range. It's 35 points. If you don't want to, if you trade minis or something, and yeah, I get it. You, you're not going to be able to put on, you know, three or four mini contracts with a 35 point stop loss, especially if you're trading for a prop firm. I get it. So how do you kind of combat that, right? You want to come to the party, you want to sit down at the table, you want to drink beer, you want to have, you know, a great time, you want to eat dinner with everyone else, you want to be involved in the fun. Okay, you got to size down then. What's the, what's the harm in the foul in playing one, two, or three micro contracts, right? On this particular play, if you play one micro contract, you're going to give up around $70, two is around 150. You know, if you play three of them, you're going to lose about 220, 225. Great. I'm willing to lose, you know, if I'm a new trader, I'm willing to lose 150, 200 bucks a, a trade, right? Like we we're playing the Nasdaq here, okay? We're not playing, you know, the the ES where we're getting, you know, five point ranges, eight point ranges. We're not we're playing the Nasdaq, guys. The reason why everyone loves the Nasdaq is because of the volatility. But the same reason why people love to play the Nasdaq is the same reason why they're so scared. If you're scared to play the big ranges on the Nasdaq, then go trade something else or go play in a different playground. Because over here on the Nasdaq playground, we've got to work with what's given to us. And that's big ranges, 20 points. You want to make 20, 30, 40 points? You better be prepared to give it up as well. 
right? So just make sure you're sized appropriately. Just because the range is big doesn't mean necessarily that you need to, you know, lose big. We don't got to go losing two, three thousand dollars on a trade. We can you go. Know, we can lose a hundred bucks. You know, one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars. So, anyways. Once we start to break down and confirm the opening range lows here, after the first 30 minutes, you need to be in this trade here at 7 a.m. You start to break down that low. And you can see here, if you use the previous five minute candle stop as a stop, that's a 35 point range. So the low here was 17,650. We come all the way down to a low of 17,590. So you can see here, this is a 50 point drop in five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. Now you wouldn't even have needed to sit through this little bit of a bounce here because you could have taken profits here. This gets down to a low of 17,608 from a price of 17,650. Your 30 points was met here in 15 minutes. You should be done. You should be done. Like computer screen goes off, you go enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, you trade for the freedom of time. Now. Once we got this first leg down, I drew this downtrending line here just, you know, to kind of show me we're in a visible downtrend off the open. I want to ignore 20 SMA plays going the other way. Why? It's a downtrend. I'm never going to buy the first 20 SMA play back long after the first leg down. You always put in a first leg down. You always consolidate. You either back test or you try to bounce or you consolidate sideways. And then either you take out the lows or you break through that downtrend. So again, avoid trying to get cute and try to call the bottom and bounce it. You know, wait for the next setup short. Wait for the continuation through the low of day short. Both of these would have paid as well. This 20 SMA play would have paid and this breakdown through the continuation through the low of day would have paid as well. Now, this one here is a little tricky. Okay, it's a 42 point range. I personally on the second leg down am not gonna give it 42 points, you know? So for those of you concrete thinkers out there that are saying, well, I thought the risk has to be the same each and every single time. Guys, you got to be you got to be, you know, able to adapt here. Like we got to be able to finesse this business a little bit. Like we can't just be such a stiffler to where everything has to be picture perfect. So how do we figure out to take profit here on this second continuation play? Well, let's take the the ATR. Let's take the average true range of a five minute candle during this uh, specific time. We're looking at around 22 points. So if I take this play through a continuation here and I get 20, 22 points, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out. Oh, there's 50 points there between those two trades if you would've taken them. You actually had three setups, one, two, three. We're letting go of the long, why? Because we're in a clear downtrend. This is the first leg down, consolidation, back test, second leg down, right? Then it just been consolidating, now it's breaking again to the, or trying to bounce again to the upside here off of this little double bottom here at the low of day. Hope this video helps you guys. If you guys wanna trade with me each and every single day live, that link is down in the description box below. You guys can get access to one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentorship and everything else that's included with uh, what I do here. Um, but again, I hope you guys made some money today. Hope you guys were profitable and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.